Sophie on Price, last season, it was quite the season for Cardiff City, winning the domestic treble for the first time in the club's history. Have you all managed to come down from cloud nine yet? Yeah, I mean, celebrations were incredible. Uh, you know, it's still a pinch me moment, and I think for the girls as well. But yeah, we're delighted. We set out the aims at the beginning of the season and we achieved all three. Yeah, describe that feeling when you finally you got your hands, not just one or two trophies, but all three. Yeah, it's hard to put into words, really. I don't think there's one word to describe it, memorable, inspiring um, and you know we just can't wait to hopefully do that again this year. So take me back to when you're a little girl, is this club, this place, is that where what started your love for the game? Yeah, I mean born and bred should I say, my dad and my two brothers, massive Cardiff supporters and it's just been something I've grown up with, you know, going to an Indian park and then coming here, going to away trips, you know, to Derby, Doncaster, some of the more memorable games with my dad and my brother. It's been in the family since the beginning. How old were you when you went to your first game? Oh, I'd say I was about six when I went to my first Fair, Cardiff okay. game. Yeah. You know, the roar of the fans was something I loved and I went once and I've never looked back. And it gave me more of a hunger to want to play myself and you know, when I was little, there wasn't many women footballers I knew of or could look up to. So players like your likes of Kevin McNaughton and Graham Kavanagh, I wanted to do what they were doing, regardless whether they were a man or not. It was just within my family. Talk to me about Wales because you've got one cap against Croatia. What was that feeling like putting on that Wales shirt, singing the anthem, walking out with the team? Unbelievable. I think when I represented under 17s, it was a really special and proud moment for me and my family and luckily for me I got invited on the under 19s camp in Turkey you know I did pretty well out in that tournament and then that March went out to Croatia you know I just soaked it all in I thought this is my one chance and that was it I'm a primary teacher so to tell girls these days that you can do it I've played with some players who have gone on in the elite game and you know it's nice to be able to share my passion and goals with some of the upcoming next female footballers Cardiff City then from putting on the Wales shirt to putting on that Bluebirds shirt as a lifelong fan. What, how did that feel to finally be playing and representing the club that you think the world of? Yeah, that was a different type of feeling for my family as well in terms of massive Bluebirds fan and be able to come and support me and represent the club. When I took a year out of football and did my PGCE after I broke my arm, but when I came back I thought if I was going to give football a go again, I wanted to challenge. And I did work in the club shop, so I did have... Did you really? Yeah. So they Love always it. asked me to join, and I was just like, oh, not yet. My time's not now. But then when I came back, I thought, why not pop down to a training session? And, you know, I'm sat here now playing for the club I love, and we're treble winners, and we're now going to Champions League. It's phenomenal. Like you've mentioned, you've got the small matter of Champions League qualifiers to come. How are you feeling as a team a lot has changed over the summer as well do you feel like you're in a good place going into these qualifiers yeah we've got some new additions in the squad who have added some quality and i think everyone's buzzing to go we've got experience because we've been there last year and some of the girls who went last year are still with us so providing that experience we're playing up against quality opposition and it's the best way you can learn is mm. by challenging yourself and you know the coaches the staff the club have given us everything we need now to go and put on a show and hopefully just challenge ourselves. The main question I want to ask is how many assists are you going to get this season, oh. Fionn? Because you're, you're always up there, you're always up there, you love an assist. <laughs> I do love an assist and from my own personal view of the game, of course that's something I like to add to the team but you know they're not assists unless you've got quality players who put them in so I can't oh. take all the glory but you know main focus is the treble and then for me I'd love to contribute to the goals but you know there's more than just assists and as part of the game it's just being part of the team so We'll see at the end of the season. Looking back, what do you think when you think of, I don't know, seven-year-old football mad Fionn, what would she think of 27-year-old Fionn playing for Cardiff City? One of the best players in the Adran League. <laughs> no, I wouldn't quite say that. I mean, <laughs> probably say to her, just keep dreaming, you can do it. You know, if I could tell myself that I'd be here right now with what I've achieved, I think she'd be really proud and probably would laugh and say, no, it's not true. But yeah, I just keep dreaming. You know, that's what I tell my school kids every day. If dream it, anything is possible. And it's nice for them to see that I play football and I teach. And hopefully they can play football. And that's their full-time job by the time they're my age. Ophion, thank you so much for your time. 
best of luck in the Champions League qualifiers. Thank and you. Good luck for the season ahead. Thank you very much.